Shalom, shalom. Man, in today's video, man, I'm going to be breaking down a clip, you know, an audio or video clip where a woman calls in live to a radio station and is asking for the radio host to pretty much call a guy that she went on one date with and he ghosted her afterwards. And it seems like she is at all why she got ghosted after the first date and didn't get a call back. Roll that footage. Hey, Zara. Hi. All right, welcome back. Let's call this uh, guy, Eddie. You met on one of the apps. You went on a date. You thought everything went really well. Uh, you were hoping to see the guy again, but you haven't heard from him. And you kind of feel, I mean, you're bummed out because you liked him. You're bummed out because you had to get a babysitter and spend time away from your kids. It was kind of just a lot. And you're let down because you were hoping it was all going to be worth it. And now you're being ghosted and you want to know why. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's call this guy now. Good luck, Zara. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hi, is this Eddie? Yeah. Was it? Hey, Eddie. Good morning. My name is Fred. I'm calling from the Fred Show, the morning radio show. The uh, whole crew is here. And I have to tell you that we are on the radio right now. I would need your permission okay. to continue with the call. Is that does that mean we can talk? Yes, no? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, thank you. This uh, is unusual. It is unusual, I'll give you that. Uh, we're calling on behalf of a woman named Zara. You guys met on uh, one of the apps, and I guess you went out yeah. recently. Wow, this guy's a yeah. matter of fact. Okay, so you remember her then? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember her. So what happened? Because she called us and said she liked you a lot and was hoping to see you again, and you've ghosted her. I mean, is that true? Did you ghost her? Well, Are you ghosting her? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll okay. tell you exactly what happened. He um, okay. So we went on the date, and it was great. We were having a good conversation. Great. Um, uh -huh. It comes to around the end of the meal. Um, I head to the bathroom, and I come back. And then uh, the waiter brings the bill, and it's a lot more than I thought it was going to you know, look it over. Um, I call him over, and I ask him, hey, why is my bill so much? And he's like, well, uh, she while you were in the bathroom, added three entrees and an appetizer um, to, to go. I was like, okay. That's, uh, that's she was odd. hungry. She um, was a hungry lady. Yeah. I, mean, I assume she, <laughs> ate, she ate on the date too, right? Yes, she ate. We had, you know, two appetizers even um, and a dessert. So, I mean, she was full. She could eat. Um, <laughs> she could eat it, y'all. Like you are full. The home for her kids. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Who, wait, who is the food for? For her kids. Oh. So she ordered it, she food. She was taking to... it home for her kids. Oh. And she, okay. Okay. <laughs> and she didn't tell you she was going to do this or offer to pay or, I mean, she didn't even give you a no. heads up. She just tried to sneak it in there. No, she was, right. She was sneaky about it and did it while I was out in the bathroom. <laughs> and you don't feel yeah. obligated to feed her children on a date that you went on with her. I mean, listen, I understand she got a babysitter. They're not cheap, but I'm sure it was a, cheaper than the, the meal that they got um <laughs> appreciate all that but yeah they're not I, my kids and and she just kind of did it without asking let me uh bring zara in i forgot to mention that zara is here i'm very forgetful oh. zara you left out the part where you ordered <laughs> several meals to take home without asking about it to, because i mean did you know he was going to pay I mean, you didn't seem to say anything when the bill came no, I mean, he asked me on a date. I would expect he's going to pay. I think that's just kind of typical that the guy pays, especially when he's the one For you. <laughs> right. I mean, he asked you on a date, and he paid for you. That was the plan. I don't know that he necessarily signed up to pay for your whole family to eat. Those mm. aren't his kids. No, I mean, I get that. They're not his kids, but I mean, he knew I had kids. He knows I'm a single mom. <laughs> he's supposed to. Yeah. So, so he part of him asking out. Yeah, asking you out on a date is him also providing a dinner for your family at home? Yeah, I mean, really? Is this standard for you, Zara? Like, you think that, I mean, I'm, I'm just curious. Like, you think that if you're asked out, that then that essentially means that everybody gets dinner, like in the whole family? I mean, if I'm not home to feed them because I'm on this date that you asked me to come on, and I guess, you know, I. That you agreed to go on. But yeah, and I because I expected he would be a gentleman and pay for it. And but here's the thing: I did pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing: he did wind up paying for everything. I'm not a confrontational guy or a monster. I wasn't going to be like, no, we're not giving these kids food. 
like that. But, but it was a little. It was a little comfortable, and the fact that you didn't tell him that you were doing it right. is also a little sneaky. I mean, in fairness. Yeah, well, I don't like that either, being called sneaky. I mean, the waiter came by while he was in the bathroom. If he was no sitting accountability, at the table, I would have done it right in front of him. I mean, I like, have I've gone to dinner with my friends who have kids, and at the end of the meal, they'll say, hey, I need to take something home for so-and-so. Can you make that separate? Or I'll pay for the whole thing because I'm adding stuff onto it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily expected to buy dinner even for my own friends' kids, who I know and would buy dinner for, but you don't—you'd barely know this guy, and he doesn't even know them, and he also didn't know he was doing that. I mean, that probably added what sixty bucks to the. It to almost the, doubled the bill. Yeah, I mean, so mm -hmm. yeah. at least it's a conversation. Like, hey, I got to bring some food home for the kids, Bingo. and then he can decide then if he wants to pay for it or not. Bingo. I mean, it sounds like you just kind of assume without without asking. No, I absolutely assumed. Um, I assumed you asked me on a date, then you're going to take care of the check. I think that's pretty standard. So then should he pay their tuition as well? Or like, uh, right. should he have paid for the Medical babysitter? Bills. Like, should he have paid for the babysitter? It's an, it's an interesting question. Why didn't you ask him? Why didn't you bill him for that? Sure, he didn't offer. Um, but yeah, that would be nice too. All praise to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm going to break this down, but first and foremost, I want to say the majority, a large majority of women cannot recover from this. What I'm going to break down, they cannot rec recover from this. And basically, there's, there's so much to unpack uh, in this video, but I'm not even going to engage in the food aspect because I'll tell you this, man. If you are a man, you know, dating women, single women with no kids or women with kids, the expectation and the assumption is you are going to do for them. Listen to me, man. Oftentimes, uh, a woman's pride will get in the way but the expectation and the assumption is there. And in this case, this woman had the expectation, not only the expectation, but the assumption, which an assumption is not shared understanding amongst everybody involved. It usually resides with the person that has it. She had the assumption, which was not shared understanding, that this man was going to get her kids some food. And it's, it's evident that that wasn't communicated or she did not make it known. She did not communicate effectively to turn that uh, assumption into something that was communicated and she now could expect from him and he agreed upon it, okay? But that's not, that's not why this woman got ghosted. And here's a term, man. Uh, so when a woman faces rejection, she's going to use the term ghosted because emotionally, man, that's how she, that's how it feels. Like it was a go, it was now you was here and now you was there. There is not any logic behind why. And you have to think, man, uh, there's very few women that are capable of being logical first. Very few knowing when to be emotional, knowing when to be logical. And in this situation, it should have been some self-reflection based upon logic and not a based upon emotion of why did this happen? So she calls in and the truth comes out. Uh, she pretty much ordered some food for her kids, an appetizer, and the bill was double. You know, I'll tell you, men, women have the assumption and the expectation that men are going to do for them. If they got kids, the the expectation is you are going to do for them and their kids. They're not going to say this because pride is in their way and that would that would mean that they chose a man that was unfit to be a provider, a uh, 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 you know, a uh, a caretaker of them. So there's not going to be an accountability behind their assumption. It's just if you're entertaining them, the expectation is uh, you're going to do for them. But this dude said something that was very 
uh, very accurate that a lot of women, majority of women cannot recover from, you know, it was the fact of how she went about doing it. It's not that she communicated and said, Hey, do you mind if we get some, uh, doesn't matter from where, do you mind if we get some food for my kids? So she's asking him, uh, if she would have asked, then the man would have said, Oh, okay. You want to make McDonald's Burger King? You know, typically, um, if somebody asked that, you know, uh, McDonald's or something like that should suffice. But you, if y'all out eating T-bones and eating good, you know, these are kids at the end of the day. But, hey, don't be shocked, man, if a woman has that expectation. What women can't recover from, majority of women, is sneakiness. Once a man sees that you have a sneaky trait or a sneaky character or a sneaky uh, behavior, man, that's a major red flag. Oftentimes you find out uh, later on after you've committed that she's sneaky when the sneaky trait has always been there. You just didn't see it, you didn't discern it, or it just didn't reveal itself. But in this matter, uh, when the check came, this woman got found out. Come to find out, the waiter was like, yeah, when you was gone, she ordered all this food. That's a sneaky trait. No man wants a sneaky woman. She can't be trusted. And you see uh, when he told her why and they, they got to the bottom of why she didn't get a call back, you know, to go on a second date and she got ghosted, she still couldn't fathom logically why. You know, uh, th those, e those assumptions stem from a woman's emotions. So she said, well... Uh, I assumed that he was going to pay. In her mind, she had had this, this narrative that he didn't pay the bill, which he actually did. He just didn't call you back. It was just a one date and done. Logically, that should have made sense to her. You know, and men aren't going to stick around. Once a man, uh, you know, realizes you have a trade in you like this, he's not going to stick around to tell you about yourself. Why? Because... He knows that he will be extremely gaslighted and shamed uh, and called less than. So it's it's just easier for a man to keep it moving. On to the next. Like I said, man, a lot of women cannot recover. You've done something sneaky like this. You can't recover. Here's another one. Back before I got married, man, and, and I was definitely living a sinful life, you know, uh, I could go to the gym uh, and, and somebody could be sleeping over. A woman could be sleeping over or, or, you know, not quite ready to go yet. And I'll tell you this, man, I would come back sometimes and instantly I could tell that stuff had been rearranged, stuff had been gone through, like my clothing drawers, like the clothes had been turned over because I had folded my clothes, put them in the drawer. And that is a that is an instant red flag. Once I see that, I'm like, okay, You've been in here snooping around. You got questions, but you don't want to ask them. You want to get answers for yourself. And you have to think, man, when a woman is doing stuff like that, she's got something in her head that's telling her something is off, so she's going to investigate. She don't care about how it looked, how it sound, the logic behind it. She don't care about your privacy. They don't care about none of that. But once you realize a woman has a sneaky trait, you know, and I used to ask, I said, hey, is you in here looking through my stuff? Oh, no, I wasn't looking through nothing. No, no, no. Why would I do that? I said, oh, yeah, this one got sneaky straight. And that would be the end of it. And these women will wonder why, why can we never, you never hit me? Hey, ain't none, of your, none of your business. Hey, nope. And that's why I say a lot of women cannot recover from this. They cannot recover. Once a man find out you got a, a sneaky trait, Behind the sneaky trait, there's not accountability. Oh, yes, I'm sneaky. No, it's it's trying to justify that you were uh, right in doing what you did. And no man is going to tolerate that. He cannot trust you. Bottom line, point blank, he cannot trust you. If his eyes, he only can trust you as far as he can see you. Other than that, he can't trust you. No man wants to be with a woman like that. That's what you need to take away from this. All that other stuff is just is just foolishness that's that's uh you know is definitely 
more and more of this stuff is happening and being exposed. These women wanting, uh, you know, free meals and all of this. But, man, you have to understand for a very long time, the assumption and the expectation is if a man asks a woman out on a date, he's paying. And uh, women get a lot of free meals from men that they are genuinely not interested in. Maybe he said he's taking you somewhere that you haven't been and you, uh, a woman's not going to tell you she ain't interested in you. She, uh, most of these women will tell you, hey, uh, yeah, I want to go because you're going to a place where they haven't been. So they're like, oh, yeah, this is a new experience. You're the guy that's going to fund her experience. And ultimately, she's not interested in you. You know, men, if you're out here thinking that uh, you're going to make a target out of a single mother to get some sex out of, I tell you, man, I don't even advise that, man. A lot of men think single mothers are easy targets, you know, because they're vulnerable and be like, well, you got these kids and you gonna give up some booty a little easier, you know, based upon your 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 choice of, of choosing a man, you know. Uh, I would advise against that, man. It's gonna backfire on you, and you're gonna end up in a lot of foolishness more than you will uh, prospering. So there you have it. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking it, gun barrel straight. Bow.